for a moment rewind our lives, say to last week this time or last month, can you see how things have changed in just a matter of days and weeks? Institutions and entertainment centers have closed down. Public spaces are empty. There are fewer cars on the roads. Pollution levels have come down. Tourist spots and beaches are empty. Water bodies are cleaner because most people are at home with their families. This coronavirus pandemic has hit the reset button on a lot of things. For starters, we've begun appreciating old values and simpler things in life. But I want to focus on one issue tonight and that is coexistence. Since humans began retreating from public spaces in fear of the coronavirus, nature has begun reclaiming its space. Dolphins have returned to Italy's coast thanks to the missing cruise ships. Look at these images. There are swans in Italy's canals. Canals which are otherwise populated with gondolas and tourists. The birds have returned. In Singapore, otters are roaming freely thanks to the empty public spaces. A bunch of Egyptian geese were spotted crossing the tarmac of the Tel Aviv airport in Israel. They could walk freely, as you can see, without fear of human intervention, courtesy the grounded flights and the travel restrictions. Chicago's shared aquarium is close to visitors, but it made an exception for Edward and Annie. The rock hopper penguins had a blast visiting their friends. For a change, there were no humans to disturb the pair. Look at them. These images are a grim reminder of how we humans have taken over the earth. We've encroached on the territory of other living beings. We've destroyed habitats, killed animals, overused resources. We do not own this planet. We share the world with a lot of other living beings. Our lives are as much about cohabitation as about survival of the fittest. We humans cannot be bringing down forests, destroying habitats and polluting oceans, putting the survival of other species at stake. These dolphins belong to the waters of Italy. These swans belong to the canals. It's their home. Let the coronavirus crisis leave us with this lesson. Learn to coexist or nature will find extreme ways to reclaim its space. Think about it.